Hey guys, it's your girl Chi. I mean, it's your boy Fee. It's your yeah. It's your girl Fee. And your boy Chi. And he liked it, so he put a ring on it. Yes. Yes. Thanks, babe. That's a nice ring. Bling bling. Who put that ring on my finger? Bling bling. Every time I got my ring, I said, like, oh, who put that ring around your finger? What? What? I mean, who put the ring around my finger? My chi daddy. Don't. Thank you, Spain. Thanks. It was a great day when he put that ring around my finger. It was my 21st birthday. Um, I'm 21. Mm-hmm. Sure. Say something different. Um, it was last Friday, and it was a total surprise to me and everyone else. I asked for a puppy. He told me I wasn't getting one, so I was going to settle for a cat. And that's what I thought I was getting. And then um, he made a speech. And I still thought a cat was coming out. And then he got down on one knee. But no, I, I had a feeling you were going to propose because my grandpa. <laughs> and like the crowd was kind of like making noises, but my grandpa was the loudest. He was like, oh, uh oh, oh, well, we know what's about to happen. And uh, just, Lord, just loud. But um, <laughs> it got like to the point there was like so many like reactions and emotions that I kind of like froze and I was just like cheesing when you were like, will you marry me? That I forgot to say yes. And my grand, grand like nudged me and she was like, say yes. And I was like, oh, yes, yes. So that, that I put my hand out for you to put the ring on. But I thought like just me smiling was yes enough. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I want to say thank you for choosing me. Like, kind of thank you for being there. Yeah, because, you know, because before me, you didn't even like black girls, you know? That's not true. Yeah. That isn't, but okay, you could think that if you want to. So what made you like black women, Greg? I like women in general. I just <sighs> fell in love with a black woman. Oh, that's nice. You know, because I'm a real one, okay? You got you a real one. Ouch. Yeah, that's gangster. <laughs> you got you a real one. Oh, I hurt myself against my own. You got you a real one for real. I just yeah. hope you know that. Like, mustard and ketchup, real. Like, we go together for real. Okay? Even though mustard is better than ketchup, because ketchup is just gross. Um, unless it's on really good fries. But you really got you a real one. And I got me a real one, huh? Of course you do. You got a real one. You got the right one. But um, it has been two months since we vlogged because there has been a lot going on. A lot. Too and much. Too much. And we thought, you know, an engagement would be the perfect time to come back um, and celebrate love, black love, millennial love, because I guess we're still technically millennials. And just, yeah, we are. I don't know how this happened. You know what? You right. I'm on a millennial because I was rocking jellies. I, I fucks with the Spice Girls, Backstreet Boys, sometimes in right. sync, Bleak 182, Nickelback Creed. I don't like B2K, but you know what? I will make the body go bump, bump, bump. I am not going to that tour though. <laughs> Hell's the hell. But, um, yeah, Lil Bow Wow. I actually like Lil Romeo over Lil Bow Wow. I'm one of those girls. But, um,. Yeah, I, you know, what kind of millennial were you, babe? You are a nerd. You probably don't know any of those I people I mentioned. Fresh Prince Martin. It's uh, not a millennial. That's nineties. That is nineties. That's what I grew up on the nineties. What you're talking about is nineties, early two thousands. So you know what? Just go, but No. But um, what was I gonna tell you? So what ha happened was. Christopher's mother got sick so you know when we were dealing with that I didn't think it was fair you know to try to get him to record um because he had to go to Pennsylvania to check on her and you know we were just hoping that everything was okay and luckily she was doing better why am I talking so much babe you talk do you want to talk babe? yeah it'd be nice um 
So she's doing better now. <laughs> she is. Yes. Um, but yeah, she wasn't doing well for a little while. I want to check on her. She still got a long ways to go, but she's recovering, so that's a good thing. And um, I just wanted to bring some positivity to the surface. So I came back and I had a surprise for you. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, did you get the ring out there? Uh, not exactly, but I was planning out there. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. What? Oh, never mind. I'll ask you after this video and stuff. But, um, um, I, you know what? I, me and Chris, you know, we've been together for a long time, going on six years this year. But, um, there was like a moment when we first found out his mom was sick that he, like, I just felt like I knew he was gonna like ask me to marry him sometime soon like you know I thought it would be our six year anniversary Valentine's Day my birthday I I don't know I don't know when I thought he could afford a ring but I just knew like he I was gonna be the woman he was gonna marry you know I don't know when I thought he was gonna propose I just knew I was gonna be his wife because he just loves me I mean I always knew because he just loves me and we've been too, through too much together but um he was like um, I was at work and he was getting off work and usually, you know, he drives for Uber and I was like, babe, don't drive tonight. Just come get me from work. And he was like, yeah, I'm coming and I'm not driving tonight cause I need you. And when he said that he needed me, I was like, oh, I'm not a big boy. He needs me cause I'm his like everything. He needs me. Like I'm his rock, you know, and I have to be there for my man because he needs me so that kind of scared me though because I was like <laughs> Lord knows that I'm just you know I'm a goof troop and at that moment it kind of scared me because I was like this might be a real serious moment in our relationship and I won't know what to do and at that point I really thought I would like need my family and so I sent a mass text out to my family and I let them know that Chris's mother is sick and I let my aunt know, I was like, there's going to be a big moment in our family where I feel like we might need each other. And I was thinking, you know, like something was going to happen to Chris's mom. But I think I was talking, I was, I was talking about that, but ultimately I was probably talking about my engagement and I didn't know because that was the big moment. I think, I hope, because that was a big moment because um, Chris's mother is fine now, but a lot of my family wasn't there for my um, engagement. You know, not, not a lot of family, just certain family members I sent that text to. But that's neither here or there. You know, who was there was supposed to be there. So, yeah. Um, but um, I literally sent that out and I was like, we're going to need each other and I'm scared. But everything worked out. Chris's mother is fine. She's um, um, and reha rehabilitation, getting better, getting stronger every day. And if everybody out there can keep her in your prayers, we would appreciate it. And yes. And, um, as far as like my family goes, keep us in your prayers too, because family, you know, family seems to forget that we're like, you know, um, from a root um, that grows from different to different branches and stuff, but we're still from the same root. And um, I I think a lot of families would benefit from like family therapy, um, and that's why me and Chris are in couples therapy right now because I plan to give this man, hopefully God willing, as many kids as I can. Because <laughs> I'm busted open for a real nigga. I'm sorry that mm. that was just horrible. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but. But I want our kids to, you know, have a strong foundation from their parents. So, they, because I just see a lot of, like, families that I am related to and that I'm, you know, extended cousins to. And I'm just like, Lord, if only the parents knew better, they would do better. So, I want to say that as parents, we'll know better. And I want to thank all the parents out there that were, you know, teachers to me. That I got to see do wrong, so I know how to do right. <laughs> thank you. But, um... Yes, so 
just families out there because a lot of families have trauma that they need to heal from that they don't heal from and it's just horrible because it's a repeated cycle and it goes on for generations and it goes on and it's like we're never gonna um prevail is that the word we're never gonna heal and it's like progress. come on progress like come on you gotta set the a new lane like, for generations to generations but like that's why path. we are gonna set examples for our kids for my little seven-year-old uncle and he's gonna know better and he and we're gonna do better for him because you know he's the future but um even my little cousins who you know they're gonna see us do better and hopefully use us as a positive example because look i can't be a part of all this family trauma say that for the devil's mama but anyway anyway babe what's up you know what i'm just really thankful i want to say this this um somebody said somebody had me fucked up oh, sorry am i allowed to cuss in here I, yes I, I am sorry i keep thinking like i don't know but somebody said it's about time a couple of people said that first of all <laughs> don't be trying me um look chris and i did love did love our way i don't think there's a right way um, there might be a wrong way, but I don't, I don't know about the right way. There, there's, maybe there's not a wrong way. There might be a dumb way. I don't know. But, um, I never think we're better than anybody. There might be better decisions we make and there might be dumber decisions we make, but I don't think I'm better than anybody. I just think there might be better decisions I make than some people. Like, um when people say like I wish I could find a man like Chris and da, da 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 I'm like you can you just you know gotta expand your horizons you know you gotta know your worth how do you find a woman like me Chris um same way expand your horizons know your worth and there's a little bit of luck in play too so. you got lucky cause I'm a diamond that's a nigga I'm a diamond in the rough do you even know Cause I'm one of a kind. There is no one like Billy Serafina. You hit the jackpot. Okay. You, you know hurt, you hurting me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, little Relax. chess, little chess. <laughs> Babe, you know that, right? You hit the yeah. jackpot. Ding, 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 ding. God was like, let me help you hit the jackpot with this one. I got the perfect one for you. Let me show you this black girl magic. Right? Right. Babe, is there anything else you want to say? You need to talk more. Because I talk a lot. Well, let me say this, too. Because everybody keeps telling me to... Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Yeah, no, because yeah. people keep saying, like, Chris, you need to be good to Chris because you are a handful. You are a lot to deal with. Do they know? They don't be knowing you. Babe, why everybody think I'm a lot to deal with? Because your personality is very explosive. And what about you? I'm chill. I'm laid back. I don't know. But they don't know you at home, though. No. They don't know the angry me, but... <sighs> Let them know, babe. Yeah. Get mad, babe. Show them. Show them, babe. I don't like to get mad. Show them when you mad, babe. It's sexy, though. I'd be like, ooh, daddy. Yes, daddy. Whatever you say. Okay, big daddy. I'm going to do whatever you say. Huh, boo -boo? That's right. <laughs> but yes. I feel like there was something else we were supposed to cover. We were doing that romance challenge. We'll get back to that. You know, it's just been a little rough. Our therapist wants us to work on that too. Um, <laughs> Lord, uh, isn't that one time today in like two weeks? Um, oh, yeah. My baby's stressed out, y'all. He's stressed out. Life is stressful. You know what? I'm supposed to... Ooh, this hair is stressed out. This hair has only been done for a week, and it already looks like this. That's how crazy this week has been, being a fiancé and all. Like, you know, woo. Fiancé life is just taking a toll on me. You know, it's crazy when you're a fiancé. But, um, 
I don't know how long I'm supposed to be a fiance, but <sighs> you should not be looking like that. You just got a brand new ring. See? Why? Why you gonna? Why you gonna act like I ain't gonna marry you? Well, I ain't about to be week. waiting another five years. It's been a week. It's been a week, and you're already acting like that. Think about we about that. to watch all the wedding shows and get all the ideas. Play for a wedding. Yeah. We about to get all. <laughs> Yeah, wedding is the woman's thing. You could get old ideas you want. You well, I'm going to be a bridezilla. That's fine with me. As long as I ain't the part, part of the wrath, I'm good. You're going to be the main part. You better I, show up, too. I ain't going to be no... Maybe you're going to show up, right? Why wouldn't I? Me, me at the altar and your black tux. We ain't getting no younger. We might as well get booked. But, yes. Thank you, everybody, for your congratulations and everything they say. Thank you to everybody. Everybody's been congratulating us. Thank you, everyone. Let them know how important it is. Meant a lot. Meant a lot. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. I was all. like, what? Thank you. Babe, come. Love. Let them know that you're going to take care of me. They know this. They ain't got nothing to worry about. I know, right? Tell people. You already take care of me. Y'all can take care of me. Uh, but I'm going to return the favor. Right, babe? For sure. Yes. Let's get married. Y'all want to see the ring again? Don't look at my hairy knuckles. My mom was like, ooh, you didn't know he was proposing because you would have shaved your knuckles. <laughs> I should have shaved, y'all. Like, this is horrible. I wish he would have told me I would have waxed or shaved my knuckles. This is horrible. Here, look at how I show y'all without showing my knuckles. Oh, Lord. Oh. But it's bling. It's blingy, right? Bling, bling. Bling, bling. Who put that ring on my finger? Bling, bling. Pink and ring with a bow, baby. Bling, bling. Thank you guys for supporting hashtag black love. Black love in full effect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now we're about to go make doves cry. Wait, what does that mean? This is what it sounds like when doves cry. <laughs>